Hello, and welcome to another science lesson. We are still on the integumentary system, and this lesson focuses on problems of diseases or disorders within the integumentary system. So let's get started. We have already covered some of the disorders, problems, diseases found in the integumentary system, or that focus primarily on that system. We've covered body bugs, ingrown nails, ingrown hairs, split ends, white nails, <clears throat> as well as some other nail issues, cellulite, stretch marks, skin cancer, acne, burns, and wounds. That's a lot, okay? So, but there are some things that I do want to address that maybe we haven't talked about yet. Ready? Ready to look into some more? Here we go. First, rosacea. Okay, you can see those um, telltale red splotches on the cheek. Uh, symptoms of rosacea include redness, the visible blood vessels, you can especially tell in that first forefront picture. Um, you can see that sometimes it spreads to other areas aside from the cheeks, um, as in the eyelids. Um, a possible cause, although there really isn't anything firm, is that uh, people with rosacea have been found to have more face mites. But again, it's tough to determine causality, which one came first. Vitiligo. Vitiligo is the loss of skin color in blotches. The cells that produce melanin, which are the melanocytes, either die or stop functioning. And it can happen in, what, in a person with any skin tone. However, it's more obvious in people who have darker skin tones. All right, next we have athlete's foot, right? Athlete's foot is caused by a fungal infection. It results in a scaly rash that itches, it burns, it stings. It is contagious, okay? Part of the reason you should wear flip-flops in a public shower. The treatment for athlete's foot um, is typically some antifungal medications, but you can do your best to prevent it. Try to keep your feet dry. Um, and when you are in a shower or a locker room that is um, a public situation, have something on you. Okay, so it's very important to keep your feet dry and um, don't walk around in bare feet in a locker room. Psoriasis. Psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory skin disorder. It results in silvery, scaly lesions on the skin, very itchy. The treatment for psoriasis is typically ointments and some anti-inflammatory drugs uh, to try to lessen outbreaks. Uh, stress can be something that causes an outbreak, so potentially managing stress uh, can help with the um, outbreak of lesions. <clears throat> Albinism. Albinism is an inherited disorder. It results in little to no melanin production. It comes with, unfortunately, an increased risk of skin cancer because remember, melanin is the pigment, but it also protects the DNA from UV radiation. And people with albinism often have eye problems, and some of that may be related to the um, lack of pigment. <clears throat> Impetigo. Impetigo is a skin infection. It's common in children. It results in red sores around the nose and mouth that can end up having a scaly appearance. It is highly contagious. And the treatment for impetigo is antibiotics as it is an infection. Thrush. Thrush is a fungal infection in the mouth and throat. You see these white lesions or patches on the tongue and inside of the cheeks. It's very common in babies. Uh, at least more common in babies and young children. However, it can happen it, um, to anyone, and especially if you are on some um, antibiotic, it puts you more at risk. Some treatment, yogurt can help uh, <clears throat> balance things out again, as well as an antifungal medicine. Herpes zoster. Herpes zoster is shingles. It is a painful blistering rash along one single nerve pathway. The treatment involves antiviral medication to hopefully lessen the severity, pain medications as needed, 
herpes zoster is basically the same thing as chickenpox, the same virus, but it, it um, emerges again as shingles. The, there is a vaccine to help with prevention of shingles. And usually that is given to people who are older as the risk of complications increases as you age. Herpes simplex, which is some call, sometimes called HSV1, herpes simplex virus 1, uh, is blistering sores. It's spread through kissing, sharing utensils, or if you're sharing lip balm. The treatment for herpes simplex is simply to try to limit outbreaks. It's nothing that's going to go away, but we can limit outbreaks with medication um, as necessary. Warts. Warts are skin growths caused by a virus. They are contagious, so through skin-to-skin -skin contact or through contaminated surfaces. So if someone had warts on their feet and walked on a locker room floor, and then you walked afterward, you could get warts from that. Most common on fingers, hands, and feet, which makes sense since it is a contagion issue. The treatment for warts, um, there are over-the-counter medications. There are also some tricks like using duct tape, but there's also surgery, lasers, freezing, and burning to get rid of that. Hives or urticaria, it's a skin rash developed by an allergic response. So it's triggered by something. Okay, um, it's important to understand that it appears different on light skin versus dark skin, but results in itchy, raised welts, often red. The treatment would be Benadryl or um, some anti-itch ointments. Eczema or atopic dermatitis is inflammation of the skin. That itis means inflammation, and derm obviously has to do with skin. So it's a rash. It's caused by contact with an allergen or irritant. And if you notice, it's often in the crooks of the elbows uh, in that antecubital area, okay? It could be on the cheeks. It uh, could be in the folds, especially in babies, in the folds of their skin. The treatment is uh, topical ointments and cold compresses can ease some of the symptoms when it gets really bad. And then we have birthmarks. So here are a few examples of types of birthmarks. Birthmark is an irregularity on the skin at birth or shortly after, and some birthmarks uh, change over time. It's often caused by the overgrowth of one cell or tissue type, so like a blood vessel or a melanocyte or smooth muscle. Okay. There are many different types, and most of the time you have nothing to worry about with birthmarks. However, make sure that you do get them checked by a doctor in case there is something more serious to worry about, okay? And those are just some of the integumentary system disorders, problems, diseases. We covered a lot already, and this just covers some more. And we'll be back to talk about more about the integumentary system.